While most people understood immediately, others were confused by the point I was making. When I conducted an experiment showing that tap water can solve the same, quote, intelligence test that many people online have been using to say that slime mold is intelligent. Some have accused me of the false equivalency of fallacy. They seem to think my claim is that slime mold is no more interesting than tap water, or that the way slime mold and water solve the maze is identical. No, that is not what I'm saying. That's not what I'm doing here. All I've done here is I've created a very simple, very basic control to test whether or not the test, the maze, is actually a good test on its own of intelligence. In science, whenever we do an experiment, we, we like to have controls. We do the same experiment, but we tweak a couple of things or just one thing to make sure that we're actually testing for the thing that we think we're testing for. Let's say that you're developing a pregnancy test. If you test it out on a bunch of women and it comes back positive that they're pregnant, you're gonna wanna also test it on people you know are not pregnant. So you might test it on women you know are not pregnant, or you might test it on men, right? Men can also pee on the pregnancy test and see if they're pregnant or not. And if you get false positives, a lot of false positives, you know that your test is bogus. If you sometimes get false positives, but they're very rare, then you know that your, your test has limitations. In the case of the actual pregnancy tests, the ones that you pee on, those are testing for a hormone, uh, human chorionic gonadotropin. That hormone is produced by the embryo as it's implanting, and that's how you can tell if you're pregnant, because your body doesn't produce that normally. But it, it also is produced by certain cancers. So control studies, they're very common, they're very important in science, and all I've done is I've created a control study. Is this test actually testing for intelligence? Well, we can find something that we know is obviously not intelligent. Tap water is obviously not intelligent. Alex from the Skeptics Club in Montreal. If tap water can solve this maze, can find the shortest path through this maze, then surely this is not an accurate test for testing intelligence. The fact that tap water solves this test does not mean that cells are not amazing. It does not mean that slime mold is not amazing. It does not mean that slime mold is not extremely competent. In fact, it doesn't even mean that slime mold is not intelligent. What it does mean is that this test alone cannot prove whether or not slime mold is intelligent. The test has serious limitations. Tap water can also solve this test. Again, as stated in the original video, until actually proven otherwise, I think it's best to just say that cells evolved to be competent without comprehension.